Hello, and welcome back to another RPD video. In this lesson, we will discuss guide planes. All guide planes in a case should be parallel and should be parallel to the angle set by the surveyor. The guide plane should be confined to the occlusal two thirds of the proximal surface and should not extend to the gingival margin. The extension of the guide plane laterally should not extend to the proximal line angles. From an occlusal view, the contour or curvature of the tooth is maintained but when looking at it from the side, it is straight up and down. In anterior teeth, guide planes cannot be made in contact areas because any alteration of the contact area will result in an unesthetic appearance. Because of this, guide planes are made lingual to the proximal contact area on anterior teeth. Guide planes should be highly polished and almost indistinguishable. Here's a summary of all the different features of guide planes. Now let's go through the steps of making guide planes. You'll need the flat-ended cylinder diamond for this. After careful evaluation of the planned path of draw, the diamond is brought close to the tooth in a direction parallel as possible to the planned path on the surveyor. The side of the diamond is then brought to contact the proximal surface of the tooth, maintaining the straight path of draw and the buccolingual curvature of the proximal surface. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.